Hey there, gardening enthusiasts. Welcome back. And today we're diving into a topic that can be a real headache for tomato growers. Tomato blight. Whether you're a seasoned gardener or just starting out, it's crucial to understand this common issue and, more importantly, how to prevent and manage it. So, let's jump right in. What is tomato blight? First things first, what exactly is tomato blight? Tomato blight refers to a group of diseases caused by various fungi, the most notorious being early blight and late blight. These can wreak havoc on your tomato plants, causing wilting, yellowing, and ultimately, a significant reduction in yield. Identifying tomato blight symptoms. Spotting the symptoms early is key to managing tomato blight effectively. Look out for dark spots on leaves, yellowing, wilting, and a characteristic moldy growth on the undersides of leaves. If you notice these signs, it's time to take action. Common causes of tomato blight. Now, let's talk about what causes tomato blight. Warm and humid conditions are a breeding ground for these fungi. Overhead watering, poor air circulation, and infected soil or plant debris are common contributors. Knowing the causes helps us implement preventative measures. Preventative measures. Prevention is always better than cure. Right here are some practical tips to keep tomato blight at bay. 1. Proper plant spacing. Ensure adequate space between plants for good air circulation. 2. Mulching. Use organic mulch to prevent soil-borne fungi from splashing onto the plants. 3. Water at the base. Water the soil around the base of the plants, avoiding overhead watering. 4. Crop rotation. Rotate your crops annually to reduce the risk of soil-borne diseases. 5. Prune regularly. Remove lower leaves and branches to improve air circulation. If, despite your best efforts, your tomatoes do get infected, there are still ways to manage the situation. Consider these treatment options. 1. Fungicides. Apply fungicides, preferably organic ones, as soon as symptoms appear. 2. Remove infected material. Promptly remove and dispose of infected leaves to prevent further spread. 3. Quarantine infected plants. If possible, isolate infected plants to prevent the spread to healthy ones. Conclusion. In conclusion, tomato blight can be a real challenge, but with the right knowledge and preventative measures. You can minimize the risk and protect your precious tomato crop. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more gardening tips. And hit that notification bell to stay updated. Happy gardening, and may your tomatoes be blight free. See you in the next video. Thanks for joining me today. If you have any questions or want to share your own experiences with tomato blight, feel free to drop a comment below. Until next time. Take care and happy gardening.